There ain't no reason for us sitting down. Try to talk our problem out. We know the truth. It ain't no use. Each other we must do it out. And there ain't no reason trying to force a smile. When pain is really in its place, we know the truth. It ain't no use. It's hard before we lose love's trace. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Good morning, y'all. Good afternoon. Good evening, and welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. You know, um, that's one thing about time. And lies. That's where it go. And at some point, everything changes, and the truth comes out. And you know those lies that you built things on, whether they were relationships, whether they were, you just can't stand up to the pressure. You know. And so when you take the emotion out of it. All the emotion out of it. And then you try to deal with what you have standing. A lot of times you're very disappointed. Because. um, On a personal level. Whenever you're involved. With in, in any kind of relationship. And. You or your significant other don't have the ability, the heart to apologize or to make amends or to even admit when they do something wrong or when they hurt your feelings or when they've been mean and they don't even have the ability to say, hey, you know, that wasn't cool what I did. And I'm sorry. I know I hurt your feelings or um, I was angry about certain things and in my mind I think I took it out you took it out on you. And in my mind if you don't have the ability to do that or that's like taking something away from you, you have who are you? You have a lot of work to do. Who am I? I would have a lot of lot of work to do. And I consider myself uh I this is a canvas, you know? And I consider the it ain't over till it's over, as Lenny Kravitz said. Ain't nothing. It ain't over till it's over. So as long as I wake up and have a new day and new breath in my body, I want to treat people accordingly. When I am disrespectful and when I make a mistake, especially if it's somebody that I can say I love, somebody that I say is important to me, um, and I could care less about what their feelings are and don't even question what their feelings are. Or if they're pushing back from me from some particular reason and I don't even have the ability to say, hey, did I do something wrong? Or in your opinion, or did I hurt you in any kind of way? When you don't have the ability to do that or when you don't want to do that, in my opinion, that's a relationship that you should just let go of. And no matter what the feelings are behind it, no matter who the person is, no matter how long you've been with them, that type of stuff right there. Because what it shows, it should show you is that the person is never wrong <laughs> and or never considers themselves. It's almost like a Donald Trump type of um, behavior where he thinks he can go around shitting on people and never apologizing 
never saying, hey, I could have made a better choice right here. Same narcissistic um, aura. And sometimes it probably can hurt because you might really like these people. But what you also find out is these people can be a detriment to your sanity. I mean, really, they can be an absolute detriment to your sanity. So, at some point, it's just like um, like working anything else out. You have to let it let it burn, and that is going to do, especially if you're emotionally attached to somebody. It's going to burn. But your job is to care for your emo yourself and to not set some healthy rules, boundaries, and limitations for yourself and not to let anybody just just keep repeating the same of a hurtful behavior towards you, never apologizing, never at some point the discussion becomes you and where, what what enables you to put up with this type of craziness. And so you will end up having to do the work and go back in there and clean some of that stuff out um, so you can get back on a path where you can put yourself first and be healthy, maybe in a selfish kind of way. Because that right there, if you settle in for this type of behavior and call yourself in a relationship with somebody or a special, that's not what that is. It is literally madness. So, I just wanted to make sure I shared that with you this morning. And uh, keep your heart safe. Keep your mind safe. Keep your body safe. And keep your body active. So those are the things that we need to take seriously during this coronavirus um, pandemic. Okay, stay healthy. With that being said, family, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.